Hello, flat earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. You'll often hear people claim that people knew the earth was a globe more than 2,000 years ago, citing the ancient Greeks or the Egyptians. But I've, until recently, never really heard anyone say exactly how they discovered that the earth was apparently a globe. And, as usual, it comes down to pointing at the sun, not actually measuring any curvature on the surface of the Earth. So let's have a quick listen to this gentleman, Roy Casagranda, from Digging Into History, and hear what he has to say. And then I'll come back for some comments after that. First of all, the ancient Egyptians discovered the Earth was a sphere 2,600 years ago. Actually, let me rephrase what I said. I said they discovered the Earth was a sphere. They proved the Earth was a sphere. Nobody could prove it until the ancient Egyptians sent a fleet of ships around Africa, and they, they, they completely circumnavigated Africa. And what they noticed 2,600 years ago is as they were traveling south, the sun's position moved from being in the southern sky directly overhead to the northern sky. And the constellations changed to constellations they'd never seen before. And then as they came around the southern tip of Africa and started heading north, the sun slowly moved from the northern sky or directly overhead back to the southern sky and their old constellations returned and they went, there's literally only one shape that, that could accommodate that experience. The Earth is clearly a sphere. Done. As you heard Roy say there, there's literally only one shape that can accommodate that experience. Well, that's totally false and very narrow-minded and, frankly, bigoted to think that. Uh, first of all, there are many possibilities, one of them being that uh, what we are seeing is local lights in the sky, just like a ceiling above us. When you're directly underneath a light, you can easily see it, but the further away you get from it, it will eventually disappear. And besides all that, uh, we're just talking about uh, the effects of perspective, not tangible measurements. And uh, if you research the globe Earth, the origins of it, every single component or the very foundations of the globe Earth model in a heliocentric model or system is based on looking at the sun and the stars and making a bunch of assumptions about what we see, forgetting that any and all of our observations are governed by perspective, uh, which changes the angular size of things as they go off into the distance. Not just uh, isolated items, but our entire view. So, there you go. Uh, a little bit of history for you, or false history, because uh, this is just a great example of how people can be bamboozled by hearing stories and just not thinking for themselves when they repeat things like, oh, the Greeks knew that the Earth was uh, a globe 2,000 years ago, or the Egyptians worked it out. What's actually happened is we do not know what they actually thought because it was 2,000 years ago. Um, all we know is what we're being told they thought. And that's why perspective is the imaginary curve. Thank you very much. Click subscribe and the bell icon if you'd like to receive notifications of new videos from Phuket Word.